Well hello and welcome to the Cairngorms in the Highlands of Scotland. Uh, I'm here for a week with my eldest son to visit my brother and his family who live up here and at this time of year it doesn't really get fully dark in this part of Scotland so we're about five degrees of latitude further north than where I live in the Cambridgeshire Fens and essentially you have 24 hour twilight or daylight at this time of year but the one thing that should punch through is noctilucent clouds and we are in uh, about the second week of July which is prime time for noctilucent clouds in the UK so uh, would you believe it is around about quarter past 20 past 11 already at night um, and you can see the sky is super super light still but a really nice sunset you might be able to see down here in the valley there's some lovely mist rolling in it's been tipping it down with rain the last couple of days so there's a lot of moisture in the air which i think could make quite an atmospheric photograph tonight around this old barracks called ruthven barracks um, near the village of canusi which is just uh, just near abbeymore in the Cairngorms. a beautiful old derelict building. Um, I actually tried to come here and shoot some Noctilucent clouds about a year ago but we were completely clouded out so hopefully tonight we will be in luck. We have I think about a two hour window tonight of good clear skies. Um, it's been cloudy most of the day but it's now looking crystal clear apart from to the far north there but that's clearing over. I'm not too worried about that. So I'm glad you could join me and Hopefully, we'll shoot some not fleecing clouds. So just while we're waiting for it to get a little bit darker, um, I'm hoping to be able to shoot a time lapse of this wonderful mist forming in the valley here. Um, I've got 35 mil on at the moment. I might need to punch in a bit more at 50 mil. Um, and I'm hoping to get the remains of the barracks on the left hand side there. Um, 50 mil might be a bit too punched in, 35 is a bit wide. Um, I've kind of come up a little bit higher here to get um, more of the valley on, uh, uh, in, in the composition trouble with that is we're right by a lay-by here and there's my car and there's also uh, another camper van parked there which sort of ruins the scene a little bit but hopefully if I can get some nice waviness in that mist as it comes in it'll make for a good time lapse. Okay so I've got that composition I think sorted shooting with the Samyang 35 millimeter f1.4 lens I'm at f2.8 shooting half second exposure at ISO 800 with a two second interval and hopefully that will be enough to get a long enough time lapse with enough movement in that mist. So here we go. Awesome, well this is me off the mark this year for Noxlucent Clouds. Um, it's just been a tough year for me for various reasons. I haven't been able to get out very much uh, over the last couple of months, which is peak Noxlucent Cloud season. But this makes up for it. I've forgotten just how beautiful they are. Really, really bright in the north northeast. Um, there's also some faint clouds over in the northwest as well but much much fainter than that display over there. Now I might have to go and interrupt my fog time lapse in a second because this will be much better so I might leave this running and go and collect the other time lapse. Meanwhile with this I've been using the Canon 6D, the modded Canon 6D. I've got the Sigma Art 1.4 24mm lens on. I am at f, I think I'm at f2.8. I am and I'm at half a second exposure and ISO 800. Um, I'm slightly nervous I might have to bring that exposure up after a while but we'll see how we get on.
to a super nice display. I'm sure you can see it on the camera. There are so many beautiful ripples and waves in this display. Um, I've changed location, well, I'm still at the same location, I've changed composition much further away from the barracks. And I'm using the 135 millimeter Samyang F2 lens, which I've got at F2, and I'm doing half a second exposure at ISO 800 again with a two second interval. And I really want to get super punched in on those beautiful noctilucent clouds. So to the eye, you've got different color gradients. Um, above the bank of cloud on the horizon, you've got a very faint orangey yellow sunset afterglow. And then that transitions, the background transitions into those deep modes of the twilight. And the noctilucent clouds just seem super silvery overlaid on top of them. Absolutely beautiful and mesmerizing. So, if you're new to the channel and you haven't come across noctilucent clouds before, um, they are reflections of sunlight by ice crystals high up, about 70 to 80 kilometers up in the mesosphere. Those ice crystals only form in certain conditions, which typically in the northern hemisphere is between early May and early August. Um, with the prime time really being from sort of mid-June, early June through to the end of July. Um, they are, those ice crystals are formed around the dust that's left over when meteorites or meteors burn up in the atmosphere. So um, what you're seeing there is the sunlight reflected off the dust from small meteorites that have burned up in the atmosphere, which I think is pretty cool um, they are unmistakable when you see them very very bright very very clearly brighter than any kind of cloud on the horizon and they form really cool ripples and waves um, and some really stunning patterns in the night sky and they can be very striking as they are tonight usually each year you get a couple of displays maybe four or five displays that are of this kind of magnitude. This has been going on all night. It's just after half past one in the morning and we've still got a very strong display in the northeast there and now over in the north northwest as well. Um, this hasn't stopped the whole night. I like to refer to them as poor man's aurora but after the display on the 10th of May um, I feel like in the UK we can punch above our weight with the Northern Lights too uh, when the conditions are right. So I might need a different name for these incredible clouds.
initially what I thought I'd do here is a hypermax, but it's so bright that it's coming out super well just on video on the drone. So I think for now, that's what I'm going to do. And I might, with the third battery, do a hyperlapse like this. It's absolutely stunning. I can't believe how bright this display is. Well, that's been a pretty epic night and I'm looking forward to editing all of these time lapses and stitching them together. Um, I'm currently shooting with the 50mm on here, I've had the 135mm out, I've had the 24mm out. Uh, the only lens I've not really used is the 14mm Samyang um, and that's because the display hasn't been especially high, I've not needed to get overhead at all but um, what a night, absolutely incredible. Um, the colours in the sky have been phenomenal. Uh, what I haven't showed you, right down uh, over to the north, I guess that is, perhaps to the northeast, um, you, because we're quite high up here, you can see right down to the horizon, which seems to be almost below you, and there's a real deep burnt orange down there on the horizon with, again, silvery, not so recent clouds um, just above it. It almost looks like a sunset is being reflected on a surface of, of water. Absolutely stunning. And the valley here has been filled with mist all night, really atmospheric with the beautiful shell of this barracks building in the background. So um, I'm going to time lapse away for a bit longer, but I'm going to end the video here. Um, if you got this far, thank you very much indeed for watching. And if you like this sort of content, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Um, I've got a couple of other adventures planned for this summer, weather permitting. So hopefully we'll get out and enjoy those over the next few weeks uh, as well. Um, and um, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a like and I'd love to hear your comments. We'd love to hear whether you got to see any Knox Lucent clouds this year. Uh, but in the, in the meantime, thank you very much indeed for watching and see you next time.